I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window. I am so thankful that you decide to stop by today and visit with me and do some fun quilting. We are working on a beautiful uh, basket blocks for our block of the month, Anna's Baskets. And it's time for block number three. I am so excited for you guys. We just finished all the basket in the first row and we're moving to our second row. First section, block number three, has three kind of baskets. Oh, do we have a lot of work to do this month, but guess what? You can do it. I know some of the baskets are a little bit more difficult than others, but guess what? You are doing it, you're tackling, and you're learning all about baskets, and I am super proud of you. Let's see what's in our quilting basket today. If you're doing this project as a block of the month, you probably by now receiving either the regular option where you have all of the beautiful fabrics in it, or you're receiving our pre-cut option and look at this every basket is packaged in a different baggie so that way you can easily pull them apart and enjoy piecing and uh, everything that we're doing today I place this one close to me now I also have in my basket beautiful pattern for block number three and for anybody that is just making the blocks on their own with no uh, fabric sending out every month you can purchase our our seamstress collection and the blocks are made from the seamstress collection and we have them available on our website so you're gonna need a pattern and you need a pattern for the assembly as well as for cutting of the blocks in the basket I also have a signature style threads those are one of my favorite threads nice and light and if you wanted to you could also use 2312 thread and last time I told you about this wonderful macrotex needle I hope all of you have got a fresh needle in your sewing machine and ready to go ahead and work on our block if you you're working from regular fabrics you're gonna be following the first three pages of the pattern where you're gonna do all the cuttings I'm gonna go for the pre-cut version of the block and my pieces for basket seven are already on a table look at it you're gonna have a rectangle for the top of the basket you have a beautiful handle you have a triangle for the base of the basket and you have two squares one light and one blue right here for the bottom base of the basket. Let's start with the handle. I'm gonna go ahead and peel the fusible webbing away from the back. Anybody that is doing the on um, pieces, you can go ahead and use fusible hand machine applique technique. We are using fusible applique for the handle because it's nice and fast and easy. I center up that handle beautifully. Look at this, it lays really nice. And I'm gonna go ahead and press it up nice with an iron and then I'm gonna go ahead and beautifully stitch around the edges with zigzag blanket or button stitch any stitches you desire make sure you cover the edges of the handle because they are raw we want to make sure that's a fusible finish edge applique now this is our triangle but we need the base triangles to make those you're gonna take a square you're gonna place another square right over you're gonna go ahead and draw a line and I already did drew a line right on it all that I did I placed my ruler just like this and drew a line and then I go ahead and stitch right over as soon as you finish stitching you're gonna go ahead place your ruler and I want to show you this pay attention to this line 45 degree line I'm gonna line the line next to the edge of my square and I'm gonna go ahead now and grab my rotary and I'm gonna cut this right in half and also do not forget you have to also trim right here I forgot to do it but guess what I can still do it without moving anything you're gonna trim it quarter inch away from that stitch line oh I'm so excited about it I went ahead one step really quickly here as soon as you trim it and cut it in half notice it you open it up and look at this you have the most beautiful triangle one for the left and one for the 
uh, other side, right here, left side and a right side. And this is how you're gonna make a base of the basket. We've done this basket once before. Yes, yes we did. Go ahead now, you're gonna place this triangle right sides together, stitch right down, flip it open. You're gonna push the seam allowance towards the basket, then finish by placing this triangle right over, sew it, flip it open, then the square, sew it on the top, and in no time, go ahead and look at this. I have it for you, the most beautiful basket. Isn't that lovely? Oh, if you can make a one, you can quickly make three of those. Look at how nice and fun it is. This is one of my favorite patterns to do it. It calls gift basket because it's like the gift on keeps on giving. It's so easy to make it. So if you ever want to do a basket block, this one is super special. So we just finished basket number seven and we did three blocks for this basket. Now the next basket is a little bit more difficult, but that's okay. You can do it. You can do it. It's block basket basket number eight. We're going to start by making a small little um, uh, saw to star for the top of the basket. Okay, so those we have to make it first. Let's review those. We've done them before, but just one more time. I'm going to need a, a quarter square triangle. I'm going to place a half square triangle right over, sew it straight down, flip it open. I'm going to push the seam allowance towards the uh, piece right here, towards the light. And I get a lot of questions about this. This is rather small. How do I control the pieces? What do I need to do? It's not coming the right way. Do not fear. Make sure when you're stitching, put the foot of your sewing machine right over this little point right here. Put the foot right over, then start stitching. Don't try to push those little two points right into your machine because they're not going to work very well. You want to put the foot over, then lower your needle, stitch it really nicely, finish it up. Then you're going to go ahead, take another half square triangle, place it over the quarter square triangle, and you're going to go ahead, start right here, sew straight down, and in no time, you're going to be able to make this cute little unit also known as flying geese. If you would like to, you can use a block lock ruler to trim it. I also use just regular ruler. You can do it as well. And you need to make sure that that unit is two and a half by one and a half, two and a half by one and a half. So if you're getting a block lock ruler, you have to make sure that that block lock ruler is one by two, one by two, the most common question that we get right now. What block lock ruler do I use? One inches by two inches for this little cute flying geese. And I trimmed it really nice. I have all those wonderful things in front of me right here. And this is going to be your flying geese. You're going to make one. You're going to finish this one. You're going to keep going because you have a uh, two more to do it. As soon as you finish them, you're going to go ahead and trim them. You're going to also need a center square and two small squares for the sides. And now you're going to sew everything to three row, row one, row two, row three. And I'm just going to place those little squares right over and sew it. And I just want to step for a moment and show you something. Notice how many layers of fabric is on this side and only two layers on this side. So I'm going to flip this this way and I'm going to start up where there is not so much bulk and I'm going to sew it straight down and it's going to come out just beautiful. So do that. Notice that you don't want to push it where there is a lot of fabric because it's going to be too bulky. So you want to start where it's nice and easy. As soon as you finish, you're going to flip it, open, push the seam allowance towards the light, push the seam allowance towards the light, see how I did that, and you're going to go ahead now, sew this to this, this to this, finish with my flying geese top and the bottom units, and in no time, you're going to have a beautiful little a saw to star, and I'm going to flip it to the back. The last seam is going to go towards the center of the star, so that way the center pops it up. You're going to make two 
of those beautiful stars, one in light pink and the second one, you're gonna make it in a beautiful, beautiful cranberry. Isn't it beautiful? Next thing that I need you to do is, I need you to go ahead and sew those two together. And another little tip that I wanted to show you. Notice it, my seam allowances are going towards the outside, but the last seam allowances, I pushed it towards the inside. So I wanna match those because it's easy if I place it this way and look at how nice the seams are locking right now. Do you see? this so you're gonna start stitching finish it up as soon as you do that you flip it open you're gonna add a little side rectangle and that is going to be the top for your new basket and that basket is so exciting let me bring some of the pieces the next basket is the basket number eight and that one is all made with beautiful pieces and I'm following the layout to get all my pieces in place. So we're gonna start by placing all the pieces just like this, all the pieces. So I have the sides right there. Those were cut with templates, just remember that. And also the beautiful um, 60 degree um, a diamonds uh, 60 degree triangles that I have it here they were also cut uh, with uh, templates and I want to make sure that I'm laying all my pieces the right way see I placed it to the side you want to make sure that everything is right where it's supposed to this goes here this goes here wonderful this goes right here perfect and i want to show you something as i'm laying my pieces so you're going to lay out all your pieces you're going to follow your pattern where the colors go notice it 60 degree triangles they're cut from a strip and you notice it there is a one side that have a straight grain and two sides that have a bias edge i want the straight grain edge to follow my line right here. So I constantly grab my triangles and I pull on them and make sure that this is straight grain so it's not stretching. This part is stretching so those going to match each other. So this is my first row. This is my second row. I already start sewing on that one. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you all about another row and another row right here. Perfect. This is going to be just the bottom base of the basket. Then the top, as usual, we have a beautiful rectangle and we have a handle right for it. Let's start with the base because I know you are excited about it. And what we're going to do is we're going to take two triangles and we're going to place them right sides together, just like this, just like this. You're going to put a pin right there in the middle. I like to put a pin in the middle because that way, if I put it right here, I'm going to be right into my sewing machine. In the middle, middle is going to hold the piece really nice. There are small pieces. You're going to start sewing from the top using a quarter inch seam allowance straight down. As soon as you finish sewing, look what you're going to do. I finished sewing this one, okay? You're going to open the seam. Open the seam, very important for this one. And I place my arrow in a pattern to remind you about it. So first, you're gonna sew sets of two. You're gonna open the seams. And now it's gonna be time <clears throat> To sew our next piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and place it right sides together and look how I'm gonna match. Again, top match, bottom match, right there beautifully. Sew it with a quarter inch seam allowance, flip it open and open the seam in the back. Open the seam in the back. Do you see what it's happening? Look at this row. Every seam was open. You stayed nicely in a row. It's going to be easy to match. You just go ahead. Let me go back one more time because this is going to be tricky for you. See this little point sticking up? You're going to match to that point and you're going to match to the bottom. Everything is matching right here and you're going to start stitching. Can you see this? Right there. Right there. Stitch right down. Beautiful. I am so proud of you. You're going to sew first row second row, third row, and the bottom triangle is right here. Now we're gonna sew everything together by just placing the pieces right sides together. Look at like this, stitch, 
flip it open and this time I'm gonna let you choose if you want it you can open the seams if you wanted to you can push it one direction so it's up to you either way would work I'm gonna place this piece and it's very important that I put my pin right through this low area because I want my triangle to match really really nice so I want to make sure that I pin it I am gonna stitch it flip it open so all those rows are coming beautifully together as soon as you finish this you're ready for your sides all right all that you're going to do is take a light shape on the left place a triangle right over uh, make sure you center up the triangle a little bit is gonna stick up on the bottom and a little bit right here sticking up you're gonna put a pin you're gonna stitch it and what are you going to do as soon as you finish stitching you're gonna open that seam open that seam because you want a nice flat transition for later on I already have done this side look at the seam is nicely open and all that I have to do is place this with this stitch it and flip it open and do the same thing on this side I have my basket finished right here so I want to show you from the back right there look at it stitch those seams going to go towards the light towards the light because there's a lot of bulk right here stitched beautifully flip it open and you're gonna have a beautiful basket for the top again we're gonna go ahead peel the paper place it center it up then stitch uh, then stitch with applique stitch sew it to this and let me show you the basket I know I showed you a little preview of it but look at this isn't that just beautiful isn't a beautiful basket we have this also on our website as a pattern calls painted basket and it is just stunning really really cute so now all that you need to do is take the row of your uh a beautiful um, a stars but don't sew it yet to it the one more thing you're gonna need and I want to step one step back just so um, we don't forget when you finish the base of the basket it is going to be a little bit bigger I designed this on purpose so you have room to trim it you're gonna center your ruler and you're gonna trim the sides right here trim it down to bring it in I did this because sometimes when you sew a lot of seams things come closer and then you are too small and you don't have enough room so making the background pieces a little bit bigger give you an option you sew it then you square it up to the exact size in the pattern and then you're gonna go ahead at the top and the next step we're gonna add this cute little strip by just placing right sides together just like this stitch it down flip it open you're gonna push the seam allowance towards the light then you're gonna go ahead add your rows of stars and voila another basket is finished so basket number eight ready set go we have two more baskets to go so let's get to it they're super simple and fun and I know you can do it so super excited about that let's go try them basket number nine that one is fun you've done it before so I'm gonna go over with you just really briefly that one you're gonna be making it with a small triangle for the base that's your base triangle I'm lining my basket this way because it's easier for me to see it sometimes you're gonna go ahead and start by sewing two half square triangles together one light one pink just like this stitch it and this is gonna become the top of your basket right here okay then um, as soon as you finish those triangles you're gonna trim them and you're gonna go ahead and make uh, five of them for the whole basket five of them your second row is made from triangles as well and you're gonna sew them into the rows then your third row is also triangles we've done that basket you're gonna sew the uh, triangles into the rows you're gonna sew your rows together you're gonna go ahead and sew this triangle right here flip it open as soon as you finish you're gonna go ahead and now it's time to sew two light triangles 
uh, make two light triangles for the top and we have those right here do not sew them yet now we need a two base triangles and again I'm gonna take a light square and I'm gonna take a red square I'm gonna place them right sides together draw a line stitch right on a line then I'm gonna go ahead trim a quarter inch away from the stitch line as soon as I finish uh, uh, trimming I'm gonna go ahead press it right open then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my ruler and match point to point cut it again just like this wonderful now I have a bottom base of the basket and look at this you're gonna take this triangle sew it right here flip it open take this triangle sew it right here flip it open make sure you always center it up then you're gonna finish it and the seams allowance are going towards the outside towards those, tri towards those triangles now you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side sew it flip it open and then this side sew it flip it open this is beautiful and i know you're flying through it because you have the practice in those baskets we've done those before and look at this they are just beautiful you're gonna make two of those baskets nine one with lighter red base darker beautiful cranberry base i absolutely love this fabric from our seamstress collection and now we have two more amazing basket and it's time for our last little scrappy basket i'm so excited for you hold down to it this time block number three was our biggest block okay and i'm proud of you that you did go through and work really hard the last basket is going to be made with simple rectangle strips like this all that you're going to do you're going to select two of those one light one dark and in your kit we included an extra strip just so you have a little variety so choose eight and go ahead place them right sides together light and a dark sew it using a quarter inch seam allowance let me show it to you i just did a low set just like this sew it with a quarter inch seam allowance then you're gonna go ahead flip it open push the seam allowance this way push the seam allowance towards the dark I have one that I beautifully press, pressed already as soon as you finish you're gonna go ahead cut it just grab your ruler and you're gonna go ahead and cut let me move those things a little bit one and a half strips just right here and I'm placing my ruler right on a seam right there and I measure one and a half I didn't even have to trim it the edge was just beautiful if you do start with trimming and then go ahead and cut it as soon as you finish cutting you're gonna have a lovely unit like this and all that you need to do is take two of those units and in this case i have a pink and a red i place it right sides together and i'm gonna go ahead and stitch as soon as you finish stitching you're gonna go ahead and leave it open press it open and i want you to see this okay when you open make sure you pull in the back did you see how I pulled it he opened that little square in the back that sounds wonderful oh this is gonna be amazing so you're gonna make a little unit like this and you're gonna keep going because you're gonna want to make uh, eight of those units eight of those units and you're gonna line them up all eight of them and i'm paying attention to the colors because i don't want the colors to be too close to each other and i'm just gonna shuffle them and mix them you have plenty of colors to do that so rotate them if you don't want to call one color next to the other and you're gonna go ahead and make nine uh, eight of those sew them into rows so this is gonna be one row another row there's gonna be four rows as soon as you can please make sure you pin it stitch it and also open that center once you sew it once your rows are completed you're gonna go ahead and place a small square on the corner let me show you i already have done my basket but let me show you this i would have placed a a square on the corner i would draw a line right here then 
uh, stitch on a line. Once I finished stitching, I would have trimmed it, flip it open, and look at the beautiful corner. Just like we did it in our first block. We made a big basket like this. Those are gonna be our corners. Then I go ahead, finish with rectangle and a beautiful handle, and my basket number 10 is ready, set, go. And I cannot tell you how excited I am because guess what? My wall is filling up with the most beautiful baskets. And in no time, in just few more uh, months, you're gonna have a gorgeous quilt that you're gonna be so proud of it. Look at all the little baskets, stars, and all the wonderful things that we are making. Isn't that delightful? I am so proud of you, and I can't wait to quilt with you some more. I'm excited that you came and quilt with us, and thank you so much for joining us for this block of the month. I know this one was a lot of work, but guess what? With every month, you're pushing through it. You do not have to do them at one sitting. Do one basket a day, three baskets, two basket, one basket, new basket, and you are going to have a beautiful quilt. So happy quilting, and thank you for stopping by. I see you next month. <music>